Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I got in my um, shipment from Chip Theory Games. Uh, this included uh, uh, the three uh, expansion gear locks, plus also the um, um, upgrade kit for version uh, 2. There were some uh, errata on some of the counters, uh, some of the chips, um, some of the cards, etc. And so I did the upgrade option. This was a nice little uh, you know, $9 add-on, um, which seems to have been, have been a problem with the second printing, uh, the actual box game of some of the cards, uh, and so they've held off shipping the second printing of the game itself. Um, however, the the reprints of the cards that uh, bring them to version 2 are in the upgrade kit. So, um, if you ordered the upgrade kit, you should have everything that you need. So I'm gonna open it up, see what you get inside, what it looks like. Cute little uh, treasure chest kind of box here. Get it sealed. Little, uh, plastic dot. There we go. This includes cool stuff so we have a new tray this is the this is a revised tray i believe for the top tray of the game um so it's we'll sit inside the box uh, this is where uh different you know the different uh, you know game dice the attack defense uh the tyrant dice things like that go into these into these slots, and then of course each gear lock has their own tray. Uh, and then these trays here uh, seem to be a deeper well for the cards. Um, not sure what the problem with this was, but that is cool. I also get some tuck boxes. These are a mylar, kind of a plastic. They're pre-assembled, which is nice. So these are, I guess, for the loot. Um, so you a couple of these. They're just Nice plastic boxes, and they do fit into slots in the tray. So that's nice. Let's set that aside. We had some cards. These must be the reprinted cards. Let's see what this is. Look at how slippery the cards are. This is the encounter. Oh, this is nice. This is an encounter cover card. So when you're when you play the game, you have your encounter deck stack. You can see because the fronts and backs are different. This is a little story section, as you know. If you're watching this, you probably already played the game. And this is the uh, the choices that you get to make. So you always kind of see that. So now you got this nice little cover card. Uh, some of us talked about different ways of doing from the bottom, uh, so on and so forth. So that works out pretty good. All right, so we have a new encounter, a reprinted encounter card, a uh, reprinted tyrant uh, for Gendrix. We've got a tyrant encounter card, we got some encounter reprints, shoulder mounted rock slinger. Uh, so these are just uh, reprinted cards, nothing new, just some fixes, some wording issues. You don't see the baby, they're not sorted. There's Drawn. One of his problems was originally it said party of one to two and party of two to four. Now it should have been three to four. You just you can play it that way, but that's nice to have the actual real card. Alright. So you get this is new, the cover card, and then you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-eight reprinted cards. I suppose I could have done that like the count on Sesame Street, but I did not. Alright, get a new I get some loose stuff here. Looks like sticker sheet. Now there's some replacement stickers for some of the chips and they seem to have settled during the shipping. And I believe how this works is that there is a clear disc 
that goes on top. Hopefully it goes underneath. Let's check that out here. Hopefully the rest of these are not messed up. So you get a you get a partial sheet here, and just what you need. It looks like it's just some batty, some batty. Uh, uh, um, draw the blank uh, chips that need to be fixed. Um, so that's cool. Like the dire wolf pump has a lash back of one. It just said lash back, and so it's kind of confusing. Once you read the arab and you start playing it, you know what you're doing. But so these two kind of look like they go here. Shows sure instructions. Tell me what to do. I'm just going to get those back on there for now. This was underneath and obviously shift it around. You should see the box that it came in. Uh, they did a good job packaging it. Uh, post office did a horrible job of shipping it. All right, I did not do an unboxing with too many bones because I bought it secondhand. I kind of came to it late, jumped on the copy, and then found out that the reprint was coming out. But it's kind of cool because I went ahead and got it and actually got, the, got a good deal because I got the, the upgrade chips. So. That's what I'm going to do for you know, an unboxing of that. But so you get the new rule book, which I have already printed out. And when I learned to play, I played for a print out of this. And it actually is this very, very nice, very clear. Um, so you get that actually printed out, uh, which is a nice touch. So you have the corrected uh, rule book. One thing to is they've incorporated. Uh, so here's some of the questions that people have asked. Uh, yeah, getting technical. Um, I don't think this is it. There's a section here where they actually have questions that people have asked. So, and they credit the person who asked them. So, uh, very nice. I thought it there. Um, okay, so you got a new rule book. Very nice. Still a little too big. I wish it was a little bit smaller, but you know what? It's still too bad. And then the updated character sheets. Also, I've already printed these out. Um, then learn to play, I might as well learn with the right rules. Um, but with the upgrade kit, you will get the upgraded cards for the four gear locks, the uh, adventurer's guide, I believe, and then the three expansion gear locks. So you don't have the expansion yet, you still get their sheets. And so if you buy a copy that was already printed that has the old sheet in it, you'll get the you already have the new sheet. I'm not sure how it works if you buy an old one. An old one that's in stock. I don't know how it works. Anyway, I'll have to check with them on that. But this is what you get in the upgrade kit is the sheets. So you got patches, as usual. Nice. Double sided. You now have the uh, the dice faces on them so you can kind of tell your odds of getting certain things. And what the choices are these were in a separate printout dice reference chart so it's nice that these are actually included on the character we'll all their notes uh, also we got tantrum boomer who's kind of become my favorite for solo uh, we get pickets yeah you do get the garlic adventure and reference guide which has been updated as well helpful information Betty skill and encounter terms, things like that. So you get these nice, nice uh, PVC printed sheets are awesome. And then the expansion ones, Gilly, Nugget, and Tink, you get their sheets as well. So if you have version one and want to get it updated to version two, you can definitely check out the Chip Theory Games website and their store. And place an order for the uh, for the expansion kit. You'll get the seven of the uh, Gearlock sheets, the Gearlock Adventures Guide, a new printed copy of the rule book, a set of replacement stickers. I did not see instructions on how to put these on. I know there's a video that you can watch that will instruct you on how to put those on. Be careful with those. And the updated box tray. Two uh, tub boxes, three cards, and as I said, 28, 28 replacement cards to uh, to update your 
to the collection. So that is what comes in the version one to version two, Too Many Bones upgrade kit. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless you.